I uh, did a little video the other day where uh, I wanted to overdub using the Zoom H6 and I also wanted to use the metronome. I was going to be playing along with myself on the video so I needed to, to uh, line those tracks up in tempo and so on. And I learned a little bit about using the Zoom H6 in overdub mode and using the metronome. I thought I it wasn't intuitively obvious at every step so I thought I'd take a moment here and shoot a little video about the subject of the metronome and overdubbing on the Zoom H6. So let's turn the little beauty on. Now usually the first thing I do when I start a project is format because I want a nice clean disk I want to make sure I don't run out of room so let's do that. Format the disk. The, you know it's a good idea when you use an SD card to format it in the device that you're going to use it in. So there we go. Now let's uh, let's go to tools. Uh, sorry, let's go to tools and uh, turn on the metronome. So there's the metronome, and we've got the click set for record only. This is how you determine whether or not the metronome sounds. And I. Uh, set the tempo where I want it, nice gentle 80, um, I'm using a wall, I'm playing a waltz, so that's 3-4 time, and I want the level all the way up, 10 is as big as it'll go. So now we should be ready to go, we'll go back to the main screen here, we've got channel 1 set to record, so we press record and we should hear the metronome. But we don't. Oh no. This was discovery number one. The metronome doesn't work. Okay, well, but ah, the metronome probably does work. There's just some other setting that we need to do, so let's see what we can figure out about that. Let's try going into overdub mode. Maybe that's what we need to do. So we go to the project menu, go down to the bottom, hit overdub. Now, hmm, it says we have a recorded track that we're monitoring. I don't, yeah, okay. So we'll, we're going to overdub onto track two. Now, it turns out what we can do is go ahead and record a new take over track one by pressing the track select button until we get it red again. In fact, let's do that. We'll just continue to use track one. We'll do a new take over track one. Press record. Oh, there's the metronome. I'm a happy camper now. So now let's go back and format the disc and start over again with a nice clean disc. Let's see, we go tool system language SD card format. Yes. So now we know that we need to be in overdub mode in order to hear the metronome. So let's go to the project menu and whoa we can't go into the project menu doesn't matter what we do there's no project menu there I mean it's there but you can't select it so it turns out if you don't have an existing project you can't get into the project menu to set overdub and if you can't set overdub you can't hear the metronome well we have ways around that obviously and the way that I came up with maybe you know a better way maybe zoom knows a better way is to record a dummy file a dummy project so we just track select number one for record hit record oh no metronome but now we've made a recording there and now we go to this menu oh we can get into the project menu now Go down, turn on overdub, and let's, uh, we'll play back track one even though there's nothing on it, and we'll record on track two, and we hear the metronome. So there's a little walk through using the metronome and overdubbing in the Zoom H6, just in case you ran into the same snag that I did. Hope you found that useful.